It's very unique. It's a monster. It's the world's biggest plow. It's the M500. The M500, when I first saw it, I was very impressed. I've worked with ploughs for 20 years, and this is the largest plough I've worked with, or indeed ever seen. Uh, the M500 uh, is a, a large multi-pass plough. It's got the capability of a 2.5 metre trench depth with a two-pass operation, and uh, it's got an 85 tonne cradle lift capacity. So that's very unusual, and there is not probably one in the world that's comparative with it. The A-frame that's on the vessel is the main method of deploying the plough into the sea. So it lifts the plough off the deck and lowers it into the sea down on the sea. The mobilisation of the plough from getting the plough support vessel into port and uh, putting the A-frame handling system on, all the ancillary equipment and then uh, bringing the plough from its storage location onto the quay and lifting it on board generally takes four to five days depending on how the progress goes. The reason uh, why we're putting the AMP 500 on deck tonight is because of the tide. We needed uh, high water slack in order to be able to perform the operation. It's always a quick operation. It's quite surprising. There's a lot of preparation involved. Uh, but when we have the pilot on board and turn the vessel around, it's just a quick connection with the bullet into the cloud and then straight on board. So it is a quick operation. Here's some figures about the AMP 500. Uh, it weighs 200 tonnes. It uh, can operate to a maximum depth of 1,000 metres. The speed that we can trench at is uh, dependent upon soil bed conditions but we generally limit ourselves to a maximum of 1,000 metres an hour and we can create a trench up to 2.5 metres deep. The technology is the same as, uh, as your agricultural technology you see your farmers using, whereas they create a, a furrow to uh, plant seeds in, uh, we create a furrow or a trench to lower a pipeline into. So as the plough is lowered through the water column to the seabed, it's landed astride the pipeline. Uh, the pipeline's then engaged with the grabs on the fore and aft end of the plough, which raise the pipeline into the body of the plough uh, and engage it within the rollers. Um, pipeline trenching then commences, uh, and as it does so, the share is closed, uh, which enables the pipeline to be lowered into the trench that's created behind the plough. The next step is we're going to connect the umbilical to the plough. And once we get communications from the plough to the control van uh, of the, the AMP 500, then we'll perform what's called a wet test. A lot of people think mobilisations are stressful, but personally I think they're the most exciting part of, uh, of many projects. Mobilisations are. Deep Ocean are very proud to have this plough with this asset, we can access pretty much the whole market of ploughing in, in particularly the European sector, but anywhere globally as well. And it gives us a full range of pipe diameter sizes we're likely to encounter in the market. Products any oil and gas client is likely to want to bury. And in some cases, power cables, particularly interconnectors between countries, we can pre-cut a trench for them to lay those in as well. So it gives us a great cover of the market with one asset.